Hi Taurus, welcome to your reading. Before I actually start, I'm gonna clear this space really quickly. And I'm gonna get some Palo Santo real quick. But welcome to your reading, Taurus. I can't believe I'm already doing the July readings. Um, so this is going to be your monthly reading for July. So welcome in. This is good for sun, moon, and rising placements, Vedic or tropical astrology. Okay, so I already have your card set out and we're going to get into it. So I am feeling a heavy energy, Taurus, but it's going to be good. It's going to be good, you know. All energy is meant to be felt and moved through. And I hope I can bring you some clarity and insight into what you're going to be going through for the month of July. Okay, so let's talk about your energy, Taurus. So if you don't know, Taurus is signified by the Hierophant and the Tarot. And that's why I have the Hierophant right there to signify your reading. So we know that we're talking about Taurus energy. And the Hierophant is honestly one of my favorite cards because this is, when, I, when you pull the Hierophant, this energy is all about alignment, okay? And it's, it's um, represented by the number five. And the number five is all about change. But why do things change for our own growth and for our own freedom, for our own evolution? Okay, so, um, you know, the Hierophant energy is all about living in alignment and moving to the highest timeline, doing what is right at all times. And if things aren't serving, then things are going to have to change. And I feel like things are changing for you. Things are 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 having to change because you're no longer happy to really like get up in the morning and live your life you're not happy to you know some days you're you're positive and you're optimistic and you feel like you're on the right path but from majority of the energy um you know of july or even now you know is more uh um limiting I feel like you are limiting yourself um, by your own thoughts, by your own negative behaviors. And it's important to acknowledge that and to accept that so that you can change it. So the reverse of this energy, the heart of your energy for the month of July is the star in reverse. But this is good that we are. I'm able to, you know, you're going to have, if you're watching this video, you know, in the early days of July or even now because I should be posting it in June you're going to already have kind of like uh, an up you know you're getting this message to like hey this is like a hey girl like you need to stop thinking in this way so that you can reap your blessing so that you can live in your fullness so that you can live your dream so that you can be happy because when this energy, the star energy, is in the upright position, when the star energy is balanced, it, this card says, happy times. Okay, there's no reason that you shouldn't be feeling good, that you shouldn't be happy. And so, I feel like the month of July, you're really going to be in this energy of confliction. But this is your message to, you know, if it's not making you happy, it's got to go. It's got to go. And we have this Oracle card, the comic, and that lets me know that you're needing to have a more playful approach. And especially with this page of cups as well, to do things that really come from your heart. If something's not satisfying you wholeheartedly, it needs to go. Goodbye. We have the God of Conflict Resolution. You are being encouraged to walk away from a current conflict. And we have the Five of Swords in reverse. There's there's another energy in your energy, whether that be a person or, you know, inner demons that you're dealing with that it needs, something needs to change for you to be happy and for you to feel good and for you to feel like you're on the right path every day, not just some days, not just part of the day, but every single day where we're, we're continuously in a state of flow, in a state of bliss, because, you know, life is good. 
and this card says make positive optimistic long-term plans okay so we're really needing to be more light-hearted okay not take things too seriously put more trust into the divine cast your burdens on the christ within and go free Can you tell me what is Taurus burdened by? What is Taurus's burden here in the month of July? We have the three of wands in reverse. You could be feeling very um, just impatient, okay? Trust in your process. Trust that everything comes to you at the perfect time. You attract what you're ready for. Be patient. Create. The number three is about creation. It's about harvest and receiving your blessings as well. Everything is truly as it should be. I need you to trust in your process. And that's going to be your affirmation. And the title of this reading is Trust in Your Process. Okay, got to write that down before I forget it. Okay. And so, yes, cast, cast the burden of impatience on the Christ within and go free, knowing that you put your trust in God and you're able to be happy now. Okay, so I'm going to put this in the up right now with the star and I'm going to say that in the month of July, you're going to be following your destiny. You're going to be happy in the month of July. You're not going to be indecisive because you're going to be focused on your heart center. You're going to be balancing your heart chakra. You're going to be stepping into your highest frequency on a higher timeline as your highest self. We're going to be dedicated, disciplined, and consistent. And we're going to use our past as stepping stones for our future. The month of July, I need you to um, come into more of a practice of prayer. And this also, look at this imagery on this card. It's all about perspective here. It's all about envisioning and visualizing. I need you to vision and visualize in your mind. We have the oracle imagination. Use your imagination to Picture yourself doing and being where you want to be and how it would feel to have what you want. Okay? Visualize the best possible outcome of whatever it is that you're going through. We have the card of mysticism and this is really, again, confirmation of needing to trust in the divine. Things are, things are a little bit spooky and scary and it's like there's so much unknown, but... That's where the faith steps in and we're needing to have faith because that's all that we can rely on is knowing that I'm here for a reason. My God is the best, greatest God and he could never fail me. And like I said, we're needing to have patience in our process with the mysticism card. The spirit world is working. You can't really see it. You can only have trust in it. And everything materializes, everything happens on the spiritual plane before it comes into our reality. So it takes time to come for things to come into the 3D. We have the end of a tough cycle approaches. And then I have some oracle here. Okay, I already have um, one I didn't mention, the God of Reflections. It says, the qualities you see in others are simply your own reflection. Oh, and also, there's a side note. I'm not really picking up on love, but you know what? With the star card here and your own energy of Taurus, like that's like that's like a, a combination of meeting your match, meeting your maker, meeting, <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah, you are coming into more alignment with yourself. And when when we know ourselves, when we're when we come become comfortable with ourselves, and we when we love ourselves, then we attract a lover for us, right? So there is a side message that a new romantic cycle begins, and 
although I do feel like this is about yourself and your own self-love, there is a side message of someone else coming through. And I also can see that with the Page of Cups. The more, and this is a message that the more you love on yourself, the more you give yourself the own, your own love that you would want someone else to give you, the more you are attracting a lover on your frequency that is meant for you by divine right okay so there is a possible lover coming in for you in the month of july they could have libra in their chart possible aquarius okay you could have aquarius in your chart doesn't have to be though all right and then we have some other oracle that i'm going to read out of my guidebooks okay i mentioned the oracle the comic here you need to take a more you know be, be happy, be a little jokester, like it's not that serious, take it easy, okay? And then we have the Oracle Shapeshifter, and I want to read that one. And then we have the Oracle, um, this mermaid, and I want to read her, okay? This is the imagery for the Shapeshifter. Alright, so if you want to stick around for that, then give me a second. Hopefully I'll be able to find it because I wasn't able to find the card for Aries. Sorry, Aries. I would, they should have the numbers like on here. Why don't you have the numbers? Shape shifter. Oh my gosh, I can't. One second. A Taurus. Let me go slower. Okay, finally I found it. What the F? All right. We have the shapeshifter. It says the trickster, the elusive, and the formless. The shapeshifter has a love of theater, games, and trickery. Its energy appears as one thing only to reveal a more complex story below the surface. The shapeshifter is within all of us to some degree. It is a side of ourselves that is slippery, non-committal, and experimental and longs to dismiss the rules. We need its energy to adapt to the ever-changing landscape of our existence. When the shapeshifter card appears, it's important to imagine you are looking at life through a kaleidoscope rather than a single focused lens. At any moment, the scene may shift, revealing a more enchanting vision than you imagined. Be wary, though, as the allure of the kaleidoscope can leave you exhausted and yearning for solid ground. Dancing long term with the shapeshifter requires a central pillar of integrity that links us back to our center. So when light, this energy is vibrant, adaptive, and humorous. And when dark, this um, energy is people pleasing and uh, trickery. It also says charlatan, but I don't know what that means. So that's the message in there for that. And then I'm going to get the message for the mermaid. And the number 38 could be significant because that's the number on the mermaid card. And it says, um, stop isolating yourself. It says, you may feel deserted, but it is a self-imposed isolation. What you see as rejection is all in your mind. Others are not avoiding you. You are avoiding them, preemptively preventing them from rejecting you. It is not healthy to avoid relationships and interactions for fear of losing a loved one or of becoming embarrassed. It is time to step off the island you have created for yourself and join the rest of society. Make contact with the friend you have been avoiding. Go back to the classes and meetings you bowed out of and wisely invest in new modes of communication so you can talk once again with the world. The world is waiting for you. It is up to you to take the first step. I feel that because I feel like I isolate myself for sure. And I definitely am. I'm a Taurus moon actually. So um, yeah, I definitely, I feel, I feel, I feel all my readings. So I never, I never, I don't like when people think I'm like coming for them because it's either not your message or you need to like, you know you need to get with the program but i hope that you guys resonated with this message definitely let me know in the comment section and let me know if you're a taurus sun moon or rising um like the video 
and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already thank you guys for being here and supporting me and um yeah i'll see you guys next time i hope you guys have a beautiful month of july i kind of want to pull this up we have it's time to take action aries some of you guys might have aries in your chart they had a really good reading if you want to go ahead and watch the aries reading all right um it's time to take action okay taurus so i'll see you guys next time bye